uh, which shouldn't be. Uh, that's why people would want uh, to be more specific uh, details. And uh, for those who are still uh, the Thomases who still doubt what exactly is happening, they should be told what exactly is happening. Evidence. Uh, you just said something now about the fluency of the recitation of the Quran within a short time. But don't you think it's also possible if you have someone who drills you? Because it's 29 days they've been captured. And that is a short chapter of the Quran which they recited. Seven verses. It can also be done in a week, if not less than a week. Thank you very much. I said it before that if one is faced with challenges, the reaction can be very sharp. It's very possible that these children, because their lives are in danger, you know, they can, you know, and they are young girls for that matter, to learn the Quran might not even be impossible. There's possibility of them being even performing better than the Muslims. So yeah. we, 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 uh, what was the thing in, in, in the North? Uh, is it that we still believe that they are still in Nigeria? Well, uh, the governor, I watched the television yesterday, he said that he, they received information that they are still with them. For me, as a laywoman, I can say, we believe on everybody is important in his own uh, area of specialization. As we have the security, they are doing their work. It is the information that they will bring out in the long run that will aid us know the way, uh, the, how far or what situation we are, we are in for now. And since the governor is the chief security officer of his state, he made that pronouncement yesterday, so I believe that they are still within the country. What would you say about those who are, you know, keeping up the campaign on bringing back our girls? It, it, it's in order. It's in order. We want our girls back. We want our children back. These are both. And so you will definitely frown at anybody who is trying to stop them? Uh, no, they should not stop them. They, they are on, a, on the right, right track. Except where they are doing it with political intonation, then they can be stopped. But how do you know that? That's the question. How do you know who is uh, you know, uh, an open opponent of uh, which party? In that type of because process. they're irrespective of party affiliation, they are violent, all the same issue. If they are not violent, they should allow them to demonstrate. It's a peaceful demonstration, and even I know that we were almost at the point of going out in all the states before uh, this. Uh, the day we had at the conference, I'm, I'm a delegate of the conference under the National Council of Women's Societies. Believe me, women delegates, 92 of us, appeared in black. And that was based on the Nya Nya bomb blast. But in the whole, unfortunately, when we got this news, we were all thrown into total confusion. It is, what, what is, what, we cannot understand. What is the meaning of this? Even in, ter in terms of war, women and children are always dead. But the, 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 the terrorism now is on women, on girls. Before now, because uh, yesterday, uh, uh, Yemi Adam Aleko raised uh, a very important point, uh, the unfortunate incident at Buniyadi where the boys yes. were killed. Yes. Some girls were alleged to have been taken as well, and uh, we were also silent on those. Well, these are some of the lapses that we have and uh, they must be corrected. Experience is the best teacher. What has happened to this girl? As Mr. President uh, I read it, he said that this might be a turning point for all this terrorism to stop. Have because spoken? touching girls is a trauma that will live with all of us. Even when we are able to have them back. The fear, me as a mother, instilled in me, is better imagined than told. Have you spoken to any of the family members or anyone close to Yeah, I girls? spoke to one of the women whose uh, 
niece was abducted. What was the thinking? It's real. That was how I confirmed the realness of this issue. It's real. Do they have information from government concerning what is being done or how far they've gone in, in the search or anything? Are they being given information? State government, uh, their state government have to come up with good information that will aid the federal. The federal government, uh, the government is ours, me and you. The Nigeria does not belong to uh, Dr. Goodluck, Ebele, Jonathan, um, uh, Akita Sambo, and all their wives. This is our country. So whatever information the chief executive there brings will help the government. I believe they did not take proactive action from the state there. Before, uh, that was why w women became so aggrieved to the extent that uh, even our first lady had to call for urgent meeting. To know what is it? How do we go about it? What do you think we so, should do? How do we go about it? Well, going about it is just a, a strong uh, coalition. I'm telling you, me and you cannot do something now. This strong coalition is what is going to help us out. Because for, it's, it's up to a month now that these children are suffering out there. Whatever situations they are facing, we are here eating and sleeping. They are not sleeping. So we have to cooperate with these international communities coming. You know, America to have come said, yes, their troops are even here shouldn't with Britain. Afraid, so we shouldn't be afraid. Nigerians that are saying that we don't want America, I think they are ignorant. Just a moment, Ma. Yeah. I'm just wondering, should we be afraid that these girls could have been brainwashed? Uh, no, they can't be brainwashed. Or, in, or indoctrinated. A Nigerian is a Nigerian. You know it. If I ask you who is the Nigerian, we are people that don't easily give up. We, are, we have stubborn and large hearts to face challenges. Except if they are take, given something to take, I don't know. But if it's just them, they will not be indoctrinated at all. They are just doing it to remain alive, whatever situations they find themselves. Whatever conditions they are given, they are just doing it to remain alive and to have, they have the hope of coming back home. They will come back. They will. Do you think that the, 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 the parents now, uh, because you, you've said the time for them to speak up is past, uh, now they should be pulling together to see what can done, but some will still think, they should still say things they will to, not to stop, help uh, out. They will not stop speaking now, they will speak out. But all this shouting and will not help us. We go, uh, we are into fasting and praying, earnestly. All over the world, they are praying, fasting and praying for Nigeria, for Nigerians and for Nigeria. Let me even ask, what does women's society do? They, this council, what kind of role do they play? Yeah, then uh, our national president is a member of the uh, presidential committee that uh, has been set up on this Chibok issue. She, uh, she has not relented her efforts. You see, the first demonstration was even by her women, by them. So the, you know, networking with the uh, state presidents, especially that of Borno, and the Northeast uh, presidents, Yobe, and, uh, Borno Yobe and Adamao that are was hit. Uh, they are doing a lot of uh, psychological work down there. You know, the council has a lot of affiliates. The Federation of Female Lawyers, the uh, uh, female doctors and so on, and market women. There is, uh, it is the largest pressure group we have in the country that has outreach in all the local governments too. So they are there, you know, talking to the parents. The council has been in Chubok for quite some, since that time, the thing happened. NCWS is a silent achiever. They don't make too much noise. So they should be given at yeah. least the security agencies information because if they're in the local government and talking to the parents, yes. they should have information also. They are. My former national uh, financial secretary is from Chubok. It's from her I've been communicating. I mean, with her, I've been communicating. 
getting the real facts on the issues. So she has been in chief work for quite some time. What did she say is the latest information now? Well, the information is that the children are still around. They're still within the country? They are still within. The, before we, they, she said that it's like they had moved them out. But with the pronouncement of the governor, she too, she feels they're still there. But we also do hear from security agencies that, look, some of the uh, leads that were given to them, they've checked so many of them. They've had over 250 sources, and they haven't seen anything. But here is fresh information that well, they are within the country. Well, that was what we heard from the governor yesterday. But what does the and society uh, think? And what does the uh, financial secretary from Chibok, what does she think? Well, I have not. I uh, saw him on the screen in the evening. So I have not communicated with her yet because I was on transit to Lagos. And um, I will get back to her. And if possible, I have the phone number of uh, uh, your one of your executives shall communicate back to him. But for I've not called her. I don't like lying uh, or saying things I don't know of because I'm a grandmother of yeah. three already. So it means that if they're in the country, well, there's hope that they will be found? There's hope. Since the governor has made a pronouncement, the government should look onto him to you know, produce the information he got so that uh, the children will be rescued in good time. What about residents of he, has, he was silent for quite some time, but yesterday he spoke out. OK. W yeah. What do you think about the uh, information whistleblowing mm -hmm. role or function of society? Do you think that there, people are scared to do that, having seen what happened previously, or now they will be galvanized to give information when they have, particularly from Chibok? Do you know what? As I'm seated here, I can die but only once. If I die serving humanity, I'll be the happiest woman. If I have knowledge of any information, I will not be afraid of releasing such information. Because hiding the information is going to jeopardize the efforts of these international communities coming in to help us. It's going to put us in more danger than ever before. So I believe women will open up, especially those whose children are missing. All right, well, thank you for coming on. Uh, so the you. person I will point out now is the governor of the state who has come out now to say something. He was quiet for quite some time. As a chief executive, it wasn't good enough. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Rawan Tubala Usman is the former president of National Council of Women's Society. Thank you for coming on this morning. You're welcome. Okay, we'll be back after this break. Please join us again.